So at the moment we're going to look a little bit at the um, the first social network that we're going to work with. We're going to start to look at it a little bit today and then next time and then you're going to have a homework that I'm going to uh, give you. The homework will be available for you to look at if you want today but I, it won't be assigned until Wednesday and it's actually going to be due a week from Wednesday. So usually the assignments might be due on a Monday or a Friday. It really depends. So always make sure you read the assignment because at the very end it tells you when it's due. The Instagram assignment is going to be due a week after this Wednesday. But we'll get to that. So Instagram. Let me just look up something here very briefly. You might have heard of Wikipedia before. So I'm going to show you here briefly for a moment. Instagram is a social network uh, invented in 2010 in October. So October 6th is Instagram's birthday and it's going to be five years it's going to be five years old this uh, this year. So happy birthday to Instagram, happy birthday to you. Um, Instagram is very popular. It has hundreds of millions of users. It's available in 25 languages. It's on iPhone, Android, Windows Phone. It's an app, however. It's not available on the website for the full features, as we'll see. But um, Instagram became so popular that eventually Facebook bought Instagram. So if you didn't know, in 2012, after less than two years of being available, Instagram uh, swooped in and gave the founders one billion dollars for Instagram. Not million, billion. One billion dollars to buy Instagram. So now Instagram is part of the Facebook family. And honestly, full disclosure, and I'll be mentioning this again later, I'm not a fan personally of Facebook. I don't use Facebook for friends and family. But I put that aside and I use it professionally for clients. I don't log into Facebook and chat with my friends and do Farmville and all of that stuff. I don't care about Facebook that way. I, however, log in and I put my clients' posts and I boost them and I get activity and all that professional stuff. I don't like to use Facebook for personal. So when I heard Insta uh, Facebook is going to buy Instagram, I thought, that's it for Instagram. It's going to go downhill because I don't like Facebook. But I've actually been very surprised. They've pretty much left it alone, surprisingly. They've let that mini company exist and do its own thing pretty much as is from the beginning. Um, so that's cool. So I still use Instagram. I like it. And I also use it for clients, as we'll see how. What we're going to do first is create an account if you don't have an account. So you can read here what Instagram is on Wikipedia, but it's better to actually see it in action. If you've never heard of Instagram before, let me show you briefly. You can look at it on the website, Instagram.com. But actually, you don't see very much there. It just tells you, get the app. So if you go to Instagram.com, it's just going to tell you, go download the app for your phone. So Instagram needs to be on a phone, which could be iPhone, Android phone, Samsung, Windows phone. Uh, I don't believe BlackBerry, unfortunately. Um, so you do need the app. You can put it on a tablet, so an iPad or like a Galaxy tab or whatever. We'll do that a little bit later. But there's nothing really on the Instagram website. There is a login if you already have an account. But to get an account, you do need the app. So. Let me show you this, and then we'll get the app and create the account and such. If you do have the a person's Instagram name, you can still view them on the website and do a little bit of interaction on social media, but not all of it. Um, for example, Instagram.com slash SWC underscore news. If you go to that address, you'll see this is Southwestern College's Instagram account. So let's see what they've posted. So Instagram is about sharing photos. 
well, yeah, you share photos on Facebook, you share photos on Flickr, you share photos on every network. What's the big idea? Well, the big thing that was new and unique for Instagram was that the photos were in square format. Usually a photo is rectangular, either portrait or landscape. Instagram decided to put their photos square, so a square aspect ratio. They've just changed it like one or two days ago that now you can put horizontal. And I'm like, why? The purpose of Instagram, what was cool about it, what was different was that it was square. But I guess so many people wanted to do portrait or landscape that Instagram said, okay, let's do portrait or landscape. I kind of don't like that. I like how it used to be, just squares. What was also cool about Instagram, what was different in theory, was that you could put filters. I don't really see Southwestern College putting filters. They seem pretty natural. But you're often going to see photos that look um, filtered that have special effects or special colors and so forth. And what's funny is that, you know, I show my parents Instagram and they're like, that photo looks terrible. Back in my day when I was taking a photo with film, if it looked that bad, we would throw the photo away. But now it's kind of like that's what you want. You want this retro look to it, that it looks faded or it looks weird colors and such. Again, most of the photos here at Southwestern College, they seem pretty natural colors. So they're not quite using it in that aspect. That one kind of has that effect right there. See, it's kind of faded and the colors are a little weird. That's the, the classic Instagram style, a filter. If you hover over a picture, it says this has got six likes, six favorites, six hearts, and no comments. This one's got five likes, ten likes, people like the rain. 10 over here, 13 over here. So there's some interactivity that's happening with, oh look, there's Club Web. Some interactivity happening with, with the pictures. So if you click on a picture, then you'll see the large version of it. You might see then, those are the people up there. Hey, it's Migs, Freda Hernandez, Steph, Ark, Muse. People are interacting, people are favoriting and commenting and such. This is the point here, sharing photos. Okay, let's let's back up. Yes, I can do this on I, I can do this on Facebook. I can do this on Twitter. Why would I want to do it on Instagram? Instagram is very visual. It's a great social network that is that is quick. You take a photo, you upload the video, uh, you, up, you upload the photo. People follow you. People can like your content. So for a company, you can quickly put out a product. Here it says at the very top 186 posts 269 followers 183 following we're gonna see these statistics over and over and over on all the networks how many tweets how many posts how many um, you know how many things have been published how many followers so how many people are paying attention to this account how many other Instagram users are paying attention to this account We'll see why that's important in a moment. And then following. This account, SWC, is following 183 other Instagram accounts. And while it's nice, it makes me feel good to see that I've got 269 followers, 300 followers, 500 followers. The point of getting followers on social media is not just for your ego. This is an audience. This is an audience. If I uh, was doing a commercial on television, some people will look at it and some people will change the channel and some people will fast forward. So some people will see it, that commercial. And then an even smaller amount of people will actually do something. Maybe that commercial says, come this weekend to the store and get 10% off. Well, if a thousand people see my commercial, maybe like 10 will actually come to the store. Social media is going to be like that. We want to get followers. Followers are people that have chosen to see our posts, our message. And then I'm going to put a, an Instagram photo of a, of a cupcake that I'm selling or a, 
or an event that I'm promoting and I have a captive audience, some of those people then are going to go buy that cupcake or sign up for my newsletter or hire my company. But the more followers I have, the more percentage that I could get those sales. So again, I often talk about sales, products, and such. But whatever you're trying to do online, if I'm a blogger and I just want to write about my, uh, you know, my, my hobby, I like to collect comic books, I want to blog about comics, and I just want people to read my blog or watch my YouTube videos, well, I'm going to get as much audience as I can so that when I post something on these networks, people pay attention. So that's the other point of getting more likes and more followers. Yeah, it feels good, but there's your audience. And not all 269 of these people are going to enroll at Southwestern College. Maybe two of them will. But it's free to post a photo. You can post as many as you want. You can do whatever you want here. So that's how we're going to be using social media throughout the semester. Creating these profiles, adding content, getting followers, convincing them then to do something. To buy my book, to sign up for my newsletter, to donate to my company, etc. Instagram is about photos, but it also lets you do video. In this epic video, we are watching this balloon. Let's see what this one is. In this video, you're going to get dizzy. So Instagram lets you upload video, but limited to 15 seconds. And so when we get deeper into other video platforms like Vine, Vine is six seconds, and you think, well, what can I accomplish in six seconds? What can I accomplish in 15 seconds? I need to do a video of 10 minutes. You don't need to do a video of 10 minutes. Six seconds, 16 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, this is enough. It is. 16 seconds, six seconds, you're going to see, because there's an audience for people that want to see these short videos. You're not going to be able to make a big epic story, of course, but you will be able to use the short video formats. So we're going to talk about short video and long video. We will talk about also making a 10 minute video or a 6 second video. We'll get to that. But for the Instagram assignment eventually um, we're going to have we're going to need to post photos and for extra credit you can add videos. But I'll get to the assignment a little later. Right now I'm just giving you a quick a quick look at Instagram. Um, I, I want to check. Some of you, I think, already had an Instagram account. If you would like to show your, your, your Instagram off to the rest of the school, uh, the, the class, I'll take any volunteers. Does anyone want me to put up their Instagram account up here? What's, what is it? Can you tell us briefly what it's about? It's about my friend. I just started last week. Just last week, and you got 73 followers? It's been hand followed up, yeah, but I just don't like picture, people's picture and comment that's how you follow me. Perfect. So, he just started it a week ago, already 73 followers. What he just said he did, we're going to talk about it in more detail. Because this is the social in social media. How do you get people to follow you? Uh, that's what we're going to spend today and next time to talk about that and to try to get followers. Because the more followers you get, the more of an audience. So we'll talk about creating the account and writing a biography and getting followers and what to post and all of that stuff. But here's what I'm seeing here and you know I need a new tie so I might, uh, might follow you. And you've got some activity and so forth. So we'll talk about these tactics because it's easy to create these accounts and it's easy to use them. But how do you use them effectively? You have to define what effectively means. But at the very least, we're going to say effectively is to get followers, to get an audience. Because the more audience you have, the more possibility that you have of reaching people that will actually buy your clothes, subscribe to your newsletter, watch your band play, uh, you know, donate to your nonprofit, read your blog, whatever it is you're trying to do online. All of this social media is in service to that. 
in a sense it's marketing all right very cool stuff here so later on when we follow accounts and such you might want to make a note Roy underscore lifestyle on Instagram uh, is there anyone else maybe that would like to show off their Instagram if they've got an Instagram So you can use an existing one if you've got it, or you can use a brand new one. We're going to create a brand new account in a moment, uh, if you're able to, um, and then we'll use it. So you can't do much on the Instagram website. You have to do it in the app. Any questions before we do that? Yes? How do you create uh, an account for a client? The account has to be a link to a telephone. Well, here's the thing, unfortunately. Instagram has not made it easy, uh, really, for companies. Instagram really wants people to use it. But there's plenty of companies on Instagram. When we talk about other social networks like Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus and such, we can create an account for a company. But Instagram, at the moment, it is that there's only one person creating and managing the account which unfortunately is a liability because if I create an account for one of my clients and uh, three other people have that login and one of those people gets hacked then they have access to the clients account unfortunately so the short answer is that it, it's not as, as as good as it could be and you will have to create the account for the person so we'll do it together, and then you can see how this applies to creating it for a company. All right, so we can't create an account on the website. We need the app. So I'm going to switch over, actually, to my phone. So if you're able to do this on your device, we can do this. If not, that's OK. You can do it at home or wherever. But I'm going to try to do it as best as I can here. And remember, I'm recording this, so you can always come back to it. And I'm going to load up my my phone here. Hopefully, nothing not safe for work shows up. But um, on my own phone, right here. So I've got a Windows phone. Um, I also got an Android phone and an iPad and such. But what you need to do is go. If you don't have the Instagram app, you need to go to your App Store, whatever your App Store is. And from your App Store, you're going to search for Instagram. So on your Android phone, you would load up Google Play. On your uh, iPhone or iPad, you would go to the uh, iTunes Store or the App Store, and you would search for Instagram. You would search for Instagram. There might be other Instagrams out there. You want usually the official app. But sometimes the unofficial apps do interesting things. So I'm on Windows Phone, and there's the Instagram, the official one. But then there's these other alternatives, which are also very cool, like Six Tag. I like that one. It lets you do things that the official app doesn't let you do. But anyway, I'm going to go with the official app. You want to download it. You want to install it. So it's going to tell you, with over 150 million users, it's the simple way to capture and share the world's moments on your Windows phone. Blah, blah, blah. So Instagram works through the app. It doesn't work on the website. We'll see. Your screen might look a little different than mine. That's OK. It all still applies. So you want to download the app. If you can't do it right now, that's OK. You can do it at home. Remember, this is all recorded. So you should have the Instagram app installed, perhaps. Does anyone need a little help with that? If you don't want to use your data, we do have Wi-Fi on campus. Remember to mute your devices, please. If you do want to use our Wi-Fi, we have some network here called SWC Guest. If you don't want to use your data, so anyway, I've got the Instagram app. I'm going to tap to launch it. 
if you're brand new, it's going to tell you, okay, uh, register, create an account. And since this is now connected with Facebook, it'll give you a faster way to create an account. You can either use your Facebook account to create an Instagram account, or you can create one through email so that they're not linked. Either way is fine. There's no better way or negative way or whatever. Um, just for myself personally, I don't have my accounts linked because, again, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Facebook, so I registered with an email address. Um, I want to register. It'll ask you for a username, password, and email, and a photo. Username. So here you want to add your name, your Instagram name. You're going to claim your Instagram name. So I want Victor, but it's probably going to be taken because there's hundreds, oops, this is right there, username is unavailable. Oops, some other Victor took my name. Okay, I'm going to have to go to Victor C. Oops, that one's taken. So this is the problem with social networks. Someone might have already taken your name. So even if you don't plan on using um, Vine, Maybe you want to claim the name so someone else doesn't take it, and maybe eventually you'll use it. All of these networks are free, so if you take the time to claim your name as many uh, and as many networks as possible, the better. You don't have to use them, but at least you'll have the name that when you do want to use it later, you can. So I know all of these names are going to be taken, but I'm just showing you you might have to decide on a name. And then there's also a limit to how long the name can be. I think it's 15 characters. You can't put in a huge name. Eventually it gets cut off. Sometimes it's easier to use like numbers. Exactly. So if I want to be Victor, but then I'm going to be... Let's try Victor Zero. Taken... Oh, okay, that's a good idea. You can also use underscores. So Victor the Zero underscore the zero. Whatever name doesn't really matter uh, except that maybe you have an online presence that you want to keep consistent. So myself, I'm VM Campos on all the social networks. Look me up on Twitter, Instagram, Flickr, YouTube, VM Campos. So I was able to claim the name that I wanted to use. On, on a couple of networks, though, I had to add a little something to it because it was taken. So you have to decide. If your company name, if your perfect name is taken, you're going to have to settle for something else. And then are you going to have a slightly different version on Instagram and a slightly different version on YouTube? That'll get a little confusing, maybe. So that's why you want to claim your name. You want to create a password. I should not record that. And then an email address so that it can confirm you. And here, uh, you should also have a spot to add your photo. So maybe you've got already your company logo. You have to have it on your phone. So uh, again, that could be a little cumbersome. Let's say you designed your, your company logo in Illustrator, but it's on your computer. And I don't have it on my phone. Well, if you use OneDrive and you save your files on OneDrive, you can actually load it uh, from, from, your, from your OneDrive here or from your Facebook or your Twitter. But let's say I'm going to take a photo. So 
I'm going to use my photo. Well, on a moment ago on mine, it showed a little plus sign, an empty plus right there. For and, the, no, on the profile? Well, if you've already created your account, it's going to be in a different spot. So maybe we'll look during the break. Okay. But right now, while I'm creating it, it let me add it. It let me add the photo at that moment. So everything looks good here, perhaps. I'm going to write this down or I'm going to forget it. Click the check mark. Again, my screen might look a little different than yours. My app might be a little different than yours. All right, so on mine it might have a little trouble logging in, but that's okay. Hopefully yours worked. Um, let me just log in, and then I think we can proceed. So take a moment to try to create the account. Okay, if you were able to, uh, who was able to create or log into their account? Okay, good. If you weren't able to right now, that's okay. Um, this, uh, this is one of the steps you need to do, create an account, log in, but then your homework is not due until uh, a week from Wednesday. So the only thing we need to do at the moment for today is create the account, then we'll talk about suggestions of posting and getting followers and all of that on the next lecture. But what I want to do to wrap up at the moment is um, you want to complete as, as possible your profile. So again, your screen might look a little different, but you should have an, uh, you should have some icon that is your profile. Mine looks like a little ID card. Maybe yours looks like a, uh, a little person or something. So anyway, you want to go to your profile and you want to edit your profile so that you've got a, a logo and a biography. Uh, so a picture and a biography. Because we'll see this over and over. Um, and I'll use the term of, uh, of fishing. We're fishing for followers. And if you're fishing in real life, you're going to get more fish if you put good bait. right? So if I create my account and I don't have a logo, I don't have a biography, why are people going to follow me? They're going to say, this is just a spam account. There's no biography. I don't know who they are. I don't have a logo there. Why would I follow them? So one of the things you want to do, which will be part of the homework when it's assigned, is you do want to have a picture, either your picture, your logo, a product, or something. You want to have a picture so that it's not the plain old empty icon. And you want to have a little bit of text that describes what your Instagram account is about. Well, guess what? You just completed assignment number one and two, and there's a bunch of stuff you wrote in there that you could use to use on your biography. So the About Us stuff you wrote, 
the why did you choose your name part of the assignment any of the stuff that you wrote on assignment one or two you can use take snippets of it to put into the biography on Instagram later when we get to Twitter it'll work later when we get to YouTube it'll work but you want to add your name your username you might see there's name and username username is the unique name that I couldn't take because someone else already had Victor but name is a name that I can put there that is not unique so I could go in here and call this Victor even though there's already another Victor Instagram account well that name right there doesn't need to be unique the one that does need to be unique is the username only one account in the world can have that username it can but it has to fit in the space so yeah I would try to do the name of your of your company definitely but that name doesn't need to be unique because watch this. I'm going to create a brand new account right here. And it'll let me. This name here doesn't have to be unique, but the name under username does. If you've got a website, your URL, you want to add your website because we'll see this again also later. Maybe I've got this uh, pizza shop. Well, I can't sell pizza on Instagram, but I can sell the pizza on my website or at my restaurant on Main Street. So if I've got my address filled in, people see those amazing photos of my pizza on Instagram, they get hungry and they go to my website or they go to the restaurant on Main Street. Maybe I can write the address of my, of my restaurant in the bio. So take advantage of all of these little spots here to fill in what you can to um, attract people. So that's all that we'll do for the moment. We'll have this time, if you want, to continue to create your account. When we come back next time, we will actually add content, talk about hashtags, getting followers, getting social. So what you should do is you should check Blackboard because assignment number three is available on Blackboard today. It's due on Friday. It's the Excel stuff that we started together. So look at assignment number three on Blackboard for the full details. Assignment number four about Instagram is available, but it's not assigned yet. I'm going to talk about it on Wednesday, but you can look at it already. That's it for the moment. We'll have some lab time until 7.15. If you need any help, call me over, and hopefully you can create your account on Instagram, and we'll start to use it together next time.